Yes, I mean, we're not going to get any better conditions for viewing clear skies, low humidity, and we'll have a chill to the air, so you will want to bundle up before you head out. Right now outside, it was a gorgeous day. Sunny skies, still under clear skies now. 67 degrees with a dew point of 36. Winds light out of the north at 5 miles an hour, and humidity is only at 32%, a very dry air mass in place. Today's high only got up to 69 degrees, whereas the average is 72, and our morning start, at least on the south shore was milder than the average. 53 degrees is the average. We only dropped down to 58 degrees, but look where we were on the north shore earlier this morning. 30s, 39 at Slidell, Hammond, Bogalusa, generally 50 south of the lake. I do think we'll probably be about the same, at least in terms of the north shore temperatures overnight, but south shore, I do think we'll see some more 40s and lower 50s. We only bottomed out into the upper 50s, gradually getting into the mid to upper 60s during the day today. Tomorrow, afternoon will probably be a little bit warmer before another kind of shot reinforcing the cool dry air in place for Wednesday. Outside at the moment, 60s and low 60s at that on the North Shore. Sun is going down once we get to about the 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock hour. We're going to see a lot of 50s north of the lake and even areas South Shore because our dew points are so low. Most of the day today we actually had dew points in the 30s and that's a very dry air mass and only getting into the 40s over the next couple of days. So that fall feel will still be with us until later in the day on Thursday. Notice the humidity will begin to rise as we approach the weekend and then Kind of, kind of the same thing. Looks like by early next week, we'll see another front move on through, which will bring in another shot of cool, dry air. We're talking about cool air, not really cold air. The core of the cold, you have to go well up to the northern part of Canada and over Alaska. We are not really tapping into the cold air that we would normally start to at least see making some progress south. You can see in the upper atmosphere, the trough that did bring down our cool air, cool down is not diving out of the north where we would really get into some more of an Arctic chill. Now, not that we get that all the time, but this year we're really not going to see that. In fact, kind of looking ahead, we're going to see a weak upper ridge build in, which will kind of cut off the cold air, begin that warm up as we head into the weekend. And then here comes the next trough, which will likely bring a front on through for early next week. The reason for that is we're going into a La Nina winter. What a La Nina winter is, is it keeps the strong polar jet stream much farther to our north. So we still get into some cool snaps. They don't last for very long, but we generally see a drier and warmer winter. And of course, we're not in winter yet, but after having such a strong La Nina this hurricane season, which is why we had so many storms, it looks like that pattern is going to continue on into the winter. Speaking Speaking of hurricane season, major hurricane Iota is just about off the coast of Nicaragua. And boy, when you see that well-developed eye, you know this is a strong storm. And just really heart goes out for these folks, which had just in almost the exact same spot had landfall of major hurricane Ada about two weeks ago. And now you have Iota that will be moving across the country and then into the very mountainous terrain of western Nicaragua and Honduras. They're going to see some extreme landscape slides, floods, uh, um, mudslides, and significant flooding from all of the rainfall that is moving into this area. We also have, just because we're not done with the season yet, once IOTA moves out, another area that's going to be watched in the next five days of a 40% chance of development. So we are not done with the season yet. The next name on the list would be Kappa. We want to be done with this season. Clear skies, chilly temperatures, especially north. Again, great viewing for the meteor shower tonight. Lows on the North Shore are 30, south of the lake in the 50s. If you're away from the city, probably more 40s. Lots of sunshine during the day tomorrow. High around 71 degrees and then a couple of degrees cooler by Wednesday. Here comes that gradual warm up and again turning a little more humid. Another front looks to be on the way by early next week. All right. Thank